Hello and welcome to the second part of the fifth practical video. Today we will finish configuring device states, as well as customize the tooltip of the Office Plan widget to display the latest telemetry data and help us transition to each state. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's move on to configuring the energy meter state. We will add two widgets, one to display the total energy consumption for the current day, and another to display historical data on hourly energy consumption. First, let's add the power consumption card. To do this, in the office sensors list, select the energy meter row. Enter edit mode, select add widget, and then go to the industrial widgets bundle. Then select the power consumption card widget. Specify selected entity as the data source. As you can see, the power consumption key has already been added. Now, select the pencil icon to open its settings. Select the sum as the aggregation function to sum all data point values within the selected time period and save your changes. In this widget, we will use the dashboard time window. Now open the icon color settings. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors as shown in the screenshot. Then select apply. Open the font settings. Set the font size to 35 pixels and select Apply. Open the value color settings. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors as shown in the screenshot. Then select Apply. Clear the card border radius and select Add. Finally, resize it to your liking. This widget will display the total power consumption for the time period specified in the dashboard's time window. To display historical data on power consumption, we will add the range chart widget. By adding this widget, the changes in data values on the graph will be visualized using configurable color ranges. To do this, Go to the Charts Widgets bundle and select the Range Chart widget. Use the Dashboard Time window. Specify the selected entity as the data source and the Power Consumption key as the data key. Change the chart title to Power Consumption History. Change the units to Kilowatt. Then open the Range Color settings. The line color on the chart is colored according to the range in which the value falls. This will help you to quickly orient yourself with the data by visually highlighting changes in color according to variations in values. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors and select Apply. Go to the Range Threshold settings and turn off the Label option. Open the line color settings and set the opacity to 40%. Finally, apply your changes. Expand the Y axis settings. Enter power consumption as the axis label and turn off the show split lines option. Remove the value for the card border radius and select Add. The Power Consumption History widget has been added. Place it to the right of the Power Consumption widget and resize it to your liking. Finally, save the dashboard to apply the changes. Now you can monitor the total energy consumption for the current day and track historical data on hourly energy consumption. Finally, we will configure the state for the water flow meter. This will include a card widget to display the total water consumption for the current day, a chart widget to show historical data on hourly water consumption, 
and a widget to indicate the device's current battery level. First, let's visualize the total water consumption. To do this, select the water flow meter device in the office sensors list to go to its state. Enter the dashboard edit mode and select add widget. Go to the industrial widgets bundle. If you need to display specific data, but cannot find a suitable widget in the available bundles, you can customize any widget to fit your needs. For example, let's choose the flow rate card widget and configure it to display water consumption. Now specify the selected entity as the data source. Add the water consumption key as the data key and select the pencil icon to open its settings. Select Sum as the aggregation function and select Save. Use the dashboard time window. Change the widget label to Water Consumption. Let's now change the widget icon to better correspond to the data type displayed. To do this, open the icons window and choose a new icon. Open the icon's color settings. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors. Finally, select Apply. Set Gallon as the units. Open the color settings of the value option. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors as shown in the screenshot. Then select Apply. Clear the card border radius and select Add. Position and resize the widget to your liking. This widget will display the total water consumption for the time period specified in the dashboard's time window. Next, let's visualize the water consumption data for the last 12 hours. Earlier, we added a similar widget to track power consumption. Therefore, Let's copy the power consumption history widget, insert it into the water sensor state, and change its data source to water consumption. To do this, go to the energy meter state. Right select the power consumption history widget and select copy. Return to the water flow meter state. Right select the dashboard and select paste. Place this widget to the right of the water consumption card and resize it to your liking. Then select the pencil icon to open the widget configuration window. Change the data key to water consumption to add a new data source. Then change the title to water consumption history. Change units to gallon. Turn off the fill area option and proceed to edit the range colors. Set the value ranges and their corresponding colors as shown in the screenshot. Then select Apply. Expand the Y-axis settings. Change the axis label to Water Consumption. Then select Apply. The Water Consumption History widget has been added. Finally, we will add the Battery Level widget. To do this, select Add Widget. Go to the Status Indicators Widgets bundle and select the Battery Level widget. Specify Selected Entity as the data source Clear the card border radius and select Add. Place this widget to the right and resize it to your liking. If necessary, change the size or the position of other widgets as well. Finally, save the dashboard. The state of the water flow meter device has been configured. Now you can monitor water consumption for the current day. Track historical data on hourly water consumption 
and control the battery charge level of the water flow meter. Let's enhance the office plan functionality by adding a tool tip that displays telemetry data for the sensors and adding the ability to drill down to the details of each device. To do this, enter the main state edit mode. Select the pencil icon of the office plan widget. Add the battery level, CO2, humidity, power consumption, temperature, and water consumption data keys. They represent the telemetry data that will be shown in the tooltip when selecting the corresponding device. Then go to the Appearance tab, scroll to the tooltip section, and turn on the Use Tooltip function. Now copy the tooltip function from the learning materials and paste it into the corresponding field. Here we check the device profile of the selected sensor and based on that display its corresponding telemetry values in a structured layout. We also add a clickable details line. Selecting it will execute the sensor details action, which will transfer us to the corresponding device state. So our next step is to add this action to our widget. But before that, adjust the tooltip's Y offset at minus 0.77 for optimal positioning. Then go to the Widget Card tab, access Advanced Widget Style, and paste the provided CSS into the Widget CSS field to enhance its visual appearance. Finally, go to the Actions tab and select the plus icon. Then select the tooltip tag, Action, as the action source. Enter sensor details as an action name. Select the custom action type. Paste the custom action function from the learning materials. Here we check the device profile of the selected sensor and based on that transition to the corresponding device state. Finally, save your changes. As you can see, you can now select any marker on the Office Plan widget to open a new tooltip with a more convenient design and a line button to access the details of the selected device. In the next lesson, you will learn how to create new customers and share your dashboards with them. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.